Hello everyone, uh, my name is Mildred. Uh, it's been a long while since I made a video. Uh, I'm feeling a bit relaxed. Uh, it's like we have closed school. I work for Light International School in Karen. And this is my classroom, by the way. I teach year one. Year one, um, it's my class decoration. It's not, it's not the best. I do try. Yeah, there you are. Um, I want to apologize. Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. I want to apologize for those who've been trying to reach me. My phone is a mess. My phone is a big mess. Uh, don't mind them, those are my students. Uh, they just came in to play in my class. So my phone has been a mess for some time now. Uh, you call, you are told uh, the, the subscriber cannot be reached. Then you try again and it's been a mess. I want to apologize for that and for that reason, uh, I promise you that I'm going to buy a Mulika Muizi so that Tuneza Kua Um, I, I would like us to talk about purpose. Papa's knowing um, who you are. As uh, I started this video, I told you that I'm a teacher at Light International School. And now, 40 and above, I'm, I'm very sure that I know who I am. I am sure I'm called for the little kids. When I went to college, I trained for high school. But for some reason or the other, I found myself in primary and I've never loved it the way I do today. If you want to know your purpose, there is that one thing. When you talk about it, it brings tears or it just it cuts through you. And it's my student, Jamal. Jamal, can you say hi to someone? It, it cuts through you. It, it, it makes you feel... It makes you feel something. It's like your system stops. And, and to me, it's kids. It's children. For some reason, I don't know. When I was getting married, I wanted babies like this. And, and I blessed the Lord. In seven years, I had four babies. Um, it shocks me the way people don't understand how I do it, how I raise my kids, how I, I also don't know, but I think it's a passion. I can't explain to you that, that, that it's this method, this formula, but um, not saying that my kids are the perfect kids in, in this world. I'm only saying there's some grace in me for kids. I, I just want to be around kids. I always find myself getting so hurt when a kid is hurting. I feel bad when you or another person is hurting his or his or her own kid. I feel like I would stop you. I feel like I own all the kids in the world. And and one time I was talking uh, to someone and this person told me that thing is your passion, is your purpose. Um, I don't know what is that thing in your life that when it's mentioned when when you see that thing your, your system stops and it's like you have to attend to it it's not a by the way it is the little indicators that indicate to you who you are that are giving you direction um the problem we have is that we take too long to realize who we are. We take too long to put a finger on one particular thing and know this is exactly what God calls me to do. I, I believe that every child should be given an opportunity. That it doesn't matter how they are today or who they look like today. 
there are possibilities in every child and hence in everyone. We are all children in a way or the other. To my mom, I'm, I'm her child. I see the way she relates to me and sometimes I want to tell her mom, please, I'm a big girl now. But it's never occurred to her that I'm big enough to be old, you know. So um, I, I'd like you, I would like to encourage you, even as you pray, to, to find your purpose. Please, look for that thing. Look for that particular thing that stops you. That stops your system. And that is your purpose. God bless you. We'll be talking again soon. Bye.